This video is to demonstrate how to use the Create Frequency Ranges macro in FECO. Coming to the application macros in FECO, FECO comes with a huge library of macros for various pre and post processing tasks. One such macro is the Create Frequency Ranges macro that is available through CAD FECO, which is the pre-processing interface of FECO. This macro is extremely useful to deal with models involving broadband applications. When solving a model over a wide frequency range, using the same mesh over the entire frequency range is an overkill of the computational resources as the models are always meshed with respect to the highest frequency. We can also sometimes benefit by switching to a different solver like MLFMEM for the higher frequencies, which is not possible when having only a single model for the entire frequency range. The Create Frequency Range macro is specifically developed to address all the issues mentioned so far. Coming to the macro functionality, this macro will help us split the broad frequency range into multiple smaller bands and then assign the desired solver for the given frequency band. Then we can generate separate model files for each of those frequency bands and then solve all these different model files in batch mode automatically. And once the simulations are done, will be able to combine results from all these different simulations and plot them in a single post FICO session as if you ran a single model over that entire frequency range. Now let's look into the demo. The create frequency ranges macro will be demonstrated through the example of Vivaldi antenna. Here you can see a completely built fully parametric uh, coplanar Vivaldi antenna. You can see all the design variables that are used to design this uh, geometry. You can see the variables used to specify the frequency as well. Looking at the frequency, this is uh, designed for uh, a broad frequency range of 1 gigahertz to 10 gigahertz. We can launch the macro by going to the application macro drop down menu utility and click on create frequency ranges that will launch a dialog box where you have the option to load the frequencies by clicking on load frequency bands from model that will automatically load the start and end frequencies from the model itself and we can select how many frequency bands so we want to divide this uh, initial frequency range into. Here uh, I will change this to three bands. And for each band, uh, we have the option to select whether we want to do a continuous frequency sweep or a linear or a logarithmic one. We'll go with the linear for all the three frequency bands. So the start is 1 gigahertz, uh, the end frequency for the first band will be 4 gigahertz. The units of frequency are always hertz in FECO. So we need to enter the complete number for the frequency value. For the number of frequencies, uh, we'll go with uh, an increment of uh, 0.25 gigahertz. Uh, that will make it uh, 13 samples between 1 to 4 gigahertz. And for the solution method, uh, the initial method is uh, method of moments, uh, but you can change it to ACA or MLFMM uh, depending on the electrical size of the uh, geometry. At the higher frequencies, let's say if this model becomes uh, multiple wavelengths in size, uh, we can use MLFMM for the higher frequencies. Uh, otherwise, uh, we can just use uh, method of moments for all the frequency bands. So in this one, we will just use method of moments. So I'm not going to change the solution method. For the second band, uh, we'll start from 4.25 E9 to 7 E9. 
So this will make it uh, 12 uh, samples with an increment of 0.25 gigahertz. And for the third one, 7.25 E9 to 10 E9, again uh, 12 samples. As you can see here, uh, between the frequency bands, there should not be an overlap of the frequencies. That's why the first band ends at 4 gigahertz, the second one starts at 4.25, uh, the second one ends at 7, so the third one starts after 7, which is uh, 7.25 gigahertz. Okay. Uh, we have the variables fmin and fmax, uh, right, that we use to specify the frequency in the original model. When we are dividing this into three separate models, uh, if you want to associate the uh, maximum frequency in each uh, band with respect to the highest frequency variable, we can do that. So associate to maximum frequency with variable, uh, we can select uh, F max. And uh, if we just want to generate the models, uh, we can just uh, click OK. But if you want to generate the models and solve them as well in batch mode, we need to select the option execute FICO solver. Okay. I selected that option. I click OK. The models are uh, saved uh, to a folder and they are launched. So you can see here uh, they are saved to a folder uh, frequency bands and they will be executed in batch mode and we can watch uh, the progress of that execution in the command prompt. All the simulations are finished now. Once the simulations are done, we'll have the option to launch post FICO. We'll enter Y. Post FICO is being launched now. And to load uh, all the results into the same post FICO session and combine uh, the results from all these three different uh, frequency bands, uh, it will load uh, another uh, macro automatically, which will ask us uh, for the XML file that has uh, the list of uh, the different uh, simulation models. This XML file is automatically created by the macro when we initially uh, generated uh, separate model files for the three different uh, frequency bands. I'll load it. I will ask uh, the script to merge all the results uh, into a single session. So we have uh, three frequency bands. So now merging uh, two of three. Once all the three are merged, will be able to plot the results as if uh, we ran a single model over the entire frequency range. As I mentioned before, if we ran a single model over the entire frequency range, because the mesh is always with respect to the highest frequency, the 10 gigahertz mesh would have been used for all the frequencies from 1 gigahertz to 10 gigahertz. Instead, by dividing this into three separate bands, for the first one, uh, from 1 to 4 gigahertz, we use the 4 gigahertz mesh. From uh, 4 to 7, we use the 7 gigahertz mesh. And from 7 to 10, we use the, 7, uh, we use the 10 gigahertz mesh. Click OK. Let me close this one. So now in post FICO, you can see the combined results. I can add uh, an empty graph and then plot the combined data. To plot uh, the reflection coefficient, uh, I can go to source data and I will plot the combined data here. Now, if you look at the horizontal axis, this is from 1 to 10 gigahertz. Uh, we can see a continuous plot as if uh, it was from a single simulation. If you remember uh, from CAT FICO, the reference impedance was uh, 150 ohms. So I'm going to change the reference impedance to 150 ohms in post figure as well and the results will be updated uh, automatically with respect to the new reference impedance. I'll change this to dB. So this is the reflection coefficient. 
or the entire frequency range. So this is a Vivaldi antenna, which is a wideband antenna. That's why you can see uh, the reflection coefficient being less than minus uh, 10 dB for a wide frequency range. This concludes the demonstration of the application macro create frequency bands. Thank you.